Hello. Tell me what to do. Show me how to feel. Hi everyone. This is my review of the Bose QC35 second generation. From a design point of view, these are very stylish even if they are made out of plastic. I find the black version nicer looking than the silver one. On the left ear cup, you find the only hardware difference from the previous version. This action button is to toggle between the noise cancelling levels and for the first time Bose allows you to completely turn off the ANC with this hardware button. On the previous version you could only do it from the app. Also this button can be used for the Google Assist function. On the right cup you find the power button which also is used for pairing and also to toggle between the pair devices. On the side of the same ear cup are the playback and volume buttons. A short press of the middle multifunction button pauses and plays the track. A double press keeps the song. A double press and holding the second press fast forwards the track. Also a triple press skips backwards the track and the triple press holding the third press rewinds the track. Also on the right cup you can find the micro USB port with a quick charge function, the NFC tag and the battery and Bluetooth LEDs. It takes around 2 hours to fully charge the headphones and I got around 17 hours of battery life with ANC on 100% of the entire time and the volume quite high between 80 and 100%. There is a reason why comfort is in the name of the headphones. They are very light and the headband is padded in Alcantara and has a decent amount of foam. The ear cups are also very soft and doesn't hit up my head even after a long listening session. The inside of the ear cup is also angled so my ear doesn't touch it. Let's talk about the pairing process. It's quite straightforward. You slide the power button for 2 seconds and let the headphones appear in your device list. I had however some issues with the headphones disconnecting without any reason for a few times as you can see. The Connect app allows the customization of the headphones such as the nickname, the connected devices, the music share function which allows you to share music between two Bose headphones and the action button function between the ANC level and Google Assist. And you can also change the noise cancelling levels. As the action button is set up now, when you press it, the ANC level change is reflected as well in the app. You can also choose to disable the voice prompts and to change the language of the voice as well. The sound quality of these headphones is very good. They have a well-balanced sound with a bit more emphasis on the bass, but the vocals are still very clear. For the average user of these, there is nothing to complain about. If you are an audiophile, wireless headphones are not yet at your level. But for a pair of wireless headphones with noise cancelling, the sound quality is great. Not to forget that these are in reality a headset because they can be used for calls as well. The call quality is good but nothing to brag about. I didn't have any connection issues with the calls. Now, the best feature of these headphones is the noise cancelling. It's still one of the best in the business and when I unbox them, and try them for the first time, I no longer felt that cabin pressure in my ears. But unfortunately, after a firmware update, the cabin pressure is back. I had these headphones for more than 2 weeks and honestly, I cannot wear them for more than 30 minutes at a time because my head starts to hurt. And the situation didn't improve over time. And this brings me to my conclusion, which surprisingly is the same as the one for the first generation of this product. Great headphones with great audio quality, great active noise cancelling and the best comfort on the market. However, all of these crumble if after 30 minutes I get a headache and I cannot wear them anymore. So they are not for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have this problem with the cabin pressure in the comments below. And please subscribe for more. See you next time.